morning girls it's Hamba coming to you live from Portsmouth it's been a while since I've gone live in the morning hasn't it like uh, there was a time I did it a lot and I then I just stopped for no particular reason well the reason was there weren't too many of you hi Yinka you're up early there weren't too many of you watching this early in the morning so I stopped but I'm not available Tuesday nights and I have to go live every day so here we are Good morning, good morning. When you jump on, say hello, click love, and please share the video, okay? And that's how everyone else gets to see it. So, I have literally just primed my face. I also like to squirt my skin with rose water in the morning. That's my quick way to hydrate and tone my skin as well. Uh, hi, Franca. Hello, Emmy. How are you all doing? Who's going to work today and who's coming back from work? I think that's what I'm always interested to know. Hello, Natalie. Oh my God. So many morning early birds, early birds. We're off to catch worms, are we? Right, you know what? I'm going to leave the house in like 15 minutes. So this is going to be like super quick. Someone asked me yesterday, oh my God, makeup takes so long. How do you do? And I was like, uh-uh. It doesn't have to take very long at all. It just depends on how, how long you've got. So I'm starting with foundation today. Three drops of my puff brush. Powder puff brush. I always want to say Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Who you so much Powerpuff Girls? Hey, Fasasi. How are you? Right, let's get this show on the road. So when I'm going to work, I don't use loads and loads of makeup just because. Just because. <laughs> no particular reason. Do you find that you're like that? Do you like decide how much or how little makeup to wear based on where you're going? I do. So look at that. That was like really, really quick. Not too much coverage at all because I like to look quite natural. I might end up not looking natural now and get caught. <laughs> but yeah, so you want to swirl that around really, really quick. You know, I have, got, I have no time for blending bud business on a work day. And that is literally done. Now, my brows. You'll be pleased to know that Isaac is still asleep. Hello, Flo. <laughs> How are you doing? He did creep into bed with me last night, but he is asleep. He will not be here. And I have no fear of jinxing it. There's no way he's waking up at this time. My kids are like me. They love their sleep. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not a morning person. Can you believe that? And at the moment, actually, I'm quite jealous of somebody at work who gets all the sleep in the world. And I'm like, I wish I was you. I love to sleep, but needs must. So who's finishing their night shift? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Who's going off to bed now? My music is so loud, I can't hear it. Honestly, getting it right can be a pain. How does that sound? Probably too loud now. So, talk to me, girls. What are you up to? School run? You know, I'm thinking, should I have breakfast? Should I not? I don't have breakfast normally. I know it's against doctor's advice. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, Tanya. How you doing? But you know what? Who has time in the morning for breakfast? If you're a breakfast person, please give me some hearts. I think based on your res responses, I might have to revise what I do, but I just feel like nobody in the world bar children has time for breakfast. Lunch, yes. You know, to be fair, even lunch is like hit and miss. It just depends how busy I am. Yesterday, I was so busy at work. I didn't think I was going to get a chance to eat lunch. And then, miraculously, you know, I got some help. And the person said, oh, go off and get some lunch. I went to the cafeteria. I did not like anything I saw. And I'm not a fussy eater. I think it's just... I've eaten from the cafeteria so consistently over the last couple of weeks that nothing appealed to me. I've eaten everything they have recently. And then I suddenly remembered 
that have the most amazing soup in the fridge. So I bought this soup from the shops the other day. Uh, hello Maggie, good morning, good morning, good morning. Like butternut, butternut squash and something soup and tarragon. If you've had it before, it is like, oh my God, it's velvety. I would never describe soup as velvety, but that soup is velvety. I bought it with the kids maybe Thursday. It wasn't at the weekend. So I hope it's still in date. But yeah, I'm taking that soup to work today because yesterday wasn't funny. I ended up having a sweet for lunch. A sweet for lunch. So bad. So, so bad. But anyway, that's done. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Just a quick swipe of pencil eyeliner. I think I still got some left from yesterday. Can I tell you a secret? I slept in my makeup last night. I don't do it often. I've heard, I've read somewhere that um, sleeping in your makeup can age you. Ages you something like five days for every day you sleep in your makeup. Like, I don't know where that statistic came from, but it's quite scary, isn't it? Like, you could literally add years to your life. Because you don't want to spend like five minutes taking makeup off. Just so just a little bit of blusher. And I was just like, oh, I shouldn't have. And you know, sitting there get in bed, studying, getting more and more tired and thinking, you need to get up soon, Hemba, take this makeup off. Next thing I knew, my head was on the pillow. Do you, Maggie, we need to stop. Can you and I, you know, agree from today not sleeping makeup anymore? You know, I might just Google it to see if it's true. But I heard somebody say... Yeah, don't sleep in your makeup. It ages you like five days. It's that it's incredible, incredible. So I'm gonna use two lip powders today. This one is that's captivating, and this is casual. So I'm going for an ombre look. So I use a dark one around the edges, and then the light one on the inside. Ooh, it gives you just like a very very nice look. And if you've got thin lips, it makes your lips look more plump. So here goes. I've done it a couple of times before, I think. This is not a mole, by the way. I wish it was. It's just where I pinched my face before. See what I've done? Line my upper lip. So when I'm doing like proper, proper makeup, I'd have used concealer to cover that up, but... Not this morning. Not too bothered this morning. Another great thing about these lip powders is the applicator tip. If you look at it, look at the shape of it. So there's a flat end and there's like a slanted end. And that's for like definition or lining. Mm -mm -mm. Who's having tea? Hi, MEC. Hey, Lantana. Who's having some tea this morning? I have my coffee when I get to work. That's what I tend to do. I wish I could just like sit here and have a coffee in the morning. I can't. No time. I need to wake up even earlier to have a coffee in the morning. In my own house. See, they blend so beautifully. I love it. Right, so that's literally that ombre look. So, what do I want to do now? Mascara. And I'm good to go. How long did that take? Not very long. Not very long. Hi, Adenike. Good morning. Good morning. You and I were chatting late last night. Well, we were just like, oh my God. Do we women of Facebook not sleep? <laughs> Good to see you, lovely. So just a little bit of mascara just to get my eyelashes showing. Nothing too dramatic today. I've been using the lash serum on my lashes. 
it helps lashes and brows grow and it really really works i use it for a while and then i think you know when i was kind of happy with the length and the fullness of my lashes and my brows i stopped but i think i need to get back on it hey sheila how are you doing i've gone live in the morning because in the evenings i've got karate on tuesday done who said you can't do makeup quickly thanks for joining me ladies have an amazing day and i'll catch you tomorrow night seven o'clock bye